Well, this is my eTech City Volson Smart Wi Fi Outlet Review. Uh, this is a twin pack. They are both electrical sockets uh, in here that can be controlled uh, via Wi Fi to turn household gadgets on and off. As I say, twin pack on here. A uh, little quick start guide, which I'm going to read in just a second. So, uh, I would just say they're a couple of inches in size, about an inch thick on there, and we appear to have a separate on off switch on the bottom. Uh, so you can uh, turn them on and off if you've not got access to the Wi-Fi. I uh, believe there's an app control, but I'm going to get onto that in just one minute. Okay, so we're opening up my uh, QR code reader here. And straight away, we've picked up on the app. First thing, so that's one. So I'm going to click get on that. Double click to install. And, sorry, just need my face ID to install it there on my phone. Click install, so I'm just going to sign in with my Apple ID and that commence with the Okay, process. well I've signed in and that is now downloading the VSync app. So back to it in a second when it's finished. Well the quick start guide, while the app is downloading on my phone, it simply says download the VSync app. Make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi. Plug in your Volson outlet. Follow the in-app instructions to add your Volson device. Give your device a unique name. And you're good to so, go. That all sounds fairly simple. My VSync app has uh, finished downloading. So just going to click open on there. Uh, VSync would like to send you notifications. Uh, I'm going to click allow on these because I can configure them later in the settings. Uh, now it says login or sign up. Okay, well that's part of the sign up process. You've simply got to put in your email and create a password. So I'm going to do that off camera for obviously. Okay. On the next step, once you put your email and your password in, it simply says that it sent uh, a link through to your uh, email, uh, which you must click and follow instructions to complete the sign up. Okay, well I'll come upstairs with the lights a little better and it's telling me to add my first device. So I'm plug my smart out into the wall and I'll just wait till the little blue light starts flashing on there so I'm now going to press start setup oh once plugged in the LED light should turn on please go blue the next setup okay so that is flashing blue okay so I'm now going to press next okay it's now saying join network okay moment of truth join network hmm why is it expecting me quicker than this Okay, now I did a problem connecting there, so I'm going to press APN, use APN mode, whatever that is, to uh, see how we uh, get on here. If not, there's some support videos on there. Pressing all the power button for 10 seconds until the LED starts to blink blue. One, two. That is now blinking blue. Press next. Okay. We'll select the network that begins with Wi Fi on that, so just let me skip up to my settings. Okay, my Wi Fi is in my settings there, and click on that. It's so located to that. Back to the app. And I am still having some connection issues. Now, I've got 5G network. I believe this may only run on 2.4 gig, but there is also a duplicate 2.4 gig run in my house when the 5G one can't connect but that may be the issue okay, well, after some uh, minute or so no joint in connecting at all so use APN mode okay so let's just hold down the button on the side for 10 seconds until it begins to flash blue and then blue and we're now flashing blue okay going to connect next join network Okay, that's going to be Okay, now connecting. Attempting to connect. You're almost there. That type of feeling we might not be because this thing should be connecting in a couple of seconds, not several minutes like this. Oh, I am connected. Finally, I was a bit losing the world to live with this. I'm really struggling thinking it was on the 2.4 versus 5 gigahertz problem. Uh, so now give your uh, site, now give your device, and then you'll remember like a smart outlet. A smart outlet. So let's uh, name that. Okay, call it Richie's first outlet. Press OK. Your smart outlet is now set up. The default mode for connecting your devices next time will be APN mode. A little problematic there, folks, but hopefully you will follow that through there. That in the APN mode, which if you have difficulty connecting, you then need to go and press and hold the button on the side of the outlet for 10 seconds until the light flashes blue. It tells you all this on screen, by the way. And when that light is flashing blue, you need to go to your settings 
and select the ESPN uh, Wi-Fi outlet on there. Then when you connect it to that, then come back to the Active City app and click on connect again and eventually it does connect on there. Okay, so we'll just zoom in there. The outlet's turned off at the minute, but if I touch this, then the outlet turns itself on. I will plug the light in to see if Okay, it moment of truth. Got it connected to the light. Turn, press the switch. And we turn on. And we turn off. Okay, if you want to add another device, you're simply going to press that uh, and the add button here to add a second one on and go through the same process. But having already been through that once with you, uh, I'm not going to do that again. Okay, press more. And it shows here, link to Alexa, link to Google Assistant. We'll have Alexa, so I'll try linking it to that. As Alexa requires you to very sync account before connecting, create your very sync account, sign in, and your username will appear. So I'll go and do that. Now to get the VSync app working with Amazon Alexa, I've gone into my uh, smart home page on Alexa um, and gone into the skills page and I've an alter noticed straight away VSync is actually already on here. If not, we'll just type VSync in the top and search for the app. So uh, recommended for me is that one. Let's click on that. Okay, and it says enable, but it says account linking required. So I'm going to click on enable that. And now I'm going to need to put the uh, VSync account details that are created in there to authorize it. Well, I've put the VSync account details in that I used to uh, set the app up with, and that immediately uh, has come through. VSync has been successfully linked. What to do next? Close this window to discover Home Smart features with Amazon. Okay, now it says smart home desk devices must be discovered, so I'm going to click discover devices. Okay, now here I've got Richie's first outlet on there, Wi-Fi smart connected with VSync. Okay, so that's great on that. So now it talks me through what I need to do to turn the skill, so I guess it's going to be uh, Alexa, turn on, what did I say? So now it's going to be a case of me saying, Alexa, turn on Richie's first Outlet, which I believe is what I named it. If I'd known I was going to need to use Alexa with it, I would have named it something simply like turn on Richie's lounge light. Anyway, I should go and try that upstairs. Well, I've got my Amazon Alexa device up there. My light over here. So, Alexa, turn on Richie's first outlet. Okay. And it works. <laughs> Alexa, turn off Richie's first outlet. Okay. There we are. That's how to use the Actex City uh, Volton Mini Wi-Fi uh, Smart Device with Alexa. Okay, well, that's the uh, Actex City uh, Volton Mini Smart Wi-Fi outlet set up and running nicely in conjunction with my um, Alexa setup on there. Okay, well, the Volton device is set now set up with Alexa. Nice and easy to use. The setup was a little tricky along the way. You can check the voltage going through the thing, the power is used, the energy is used on there. Um, we've got a timer which you can set the uh, variety of times, how long you th when you want the thing to come on and off on there. You can even set a schedule where you can create a calendar for it to come on and off at certain times on there. Um, you can set it to be away for when you're out the house. Although you may, if it's a light, you've got to come in on on a schedule. You may want that to come on whilst you're away, which is one of the key things I want it for. Anyway, all in all, the Actex City Volson uh, Smart Wi-Fi Outlet is quite powerful. A little bit of a struggle for me getting it set up. Certain things are very, very easy, like this scanning in the QR code to pull the app up. I think that is just a touch of absolute genius uh, on there. Um, connecting it, if you've got a 5G, 5G network as your home network uh, to start with, can bring some issues on there. I would recommend you use the APN uh, network in the first instance if you're struggling to connect. Uh, if you've got a 5G network, you indeed you may well buy one of these, connect, try and connect it at home. I think it's not working. It could be because you've got a 5G network and you're not aware that you need a 2.4 gigahertz G network to connect that to City uh, Smart Outlet 2. So just bear in mind that 2.4 versus 5 gigahertz uh, network issue when setting it up. Anyway, I hope this video does save you uh, some time and uh, effort along the way. Uh, and if you did like this video, you want to see more real life reviews, then please do subscribe. Thanks for watching. We hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on the circle image to subscribe. And if you hit subscribe, then don't forget to hit that little notifications bell next to 